Hey guys, Callum here. I just wanted to introduce you to my latest ChatGPT project called ChatGPT Budget. Now, if you're not already aware, the Australian government released its annual budget two days ago on the 9th of May. And basically what the budget is, is a collection of all these documents. Each of these documents is inside a PDF document and each PDF document has several hundred pages of fairly dry uh, political sort of language talking about where they're spending their money and you know forecasts of growth and sustainability and all that sort of uh, typical political speech um, and what i thought was that seems like the perfect opportunity to use chat gpt to en enable uh, enable us to interface with the budget as a chatbot so enter my chat gpt project you can go ahead and access this yourself right now chatgptbudget.com um, now when you first hit it you'll see this message that says to enter your open ai key the reason why i'm doing that is if i used my own key for everyone's requests and then i got you know several thousand people using this my bill would end up being pretty big so i'm sort of sharing the cost by letting users enter their own key i'll just quickly show you how to do it in case you are having trouble. So if you expand this, how to get an open AI key section, you'll see you've got some instructions. So you just need to go to this link here, like so, and then you need to create a new secret. And I'm going to type video in there and then you get a secret. Now, rest assured, I'm going to delete this secret before I publish this video. So don't bother even trying to use it yourself. And I can just go ahead and paste that in there. The other thing to be aware of is for the model selection, this is for the GPT API. So if you only have access to 3.5 turbo, then if you select GPT-4, it won't work. Okay, so I'm lucky enough to have access to GPT-4 by the API. If you don't have access to it, uh, if you try and do GPT-4, it won't work. There is a wait list that you can fill out to apply for access. And once you get access, they'll email you and then it'll work. So just keep that in mind as well. If you put 3.5, sorry, if you put four when you don't have access to four, you're gonna get an error. Okay, now I'll just hit save and close. And now I can talk to chat GPT budget and get answers about the budget. So I can ask it a question like, what's in the budget for first home buyers? And you'll see here that the results for GPT-4 come through a fair bit slower than the results for GPT-3.5, but they're also a lot better. So I guess if you do have access to GPT-4, just keep that in mind. You can speed it up a lot by changing to 3.5, but if you really want the, the best answer, keep it on four uh, is my tip for you. Um, so yeah, you can see here, I've just asked about first home buyers and it's filling out some information about the expansion of the home guarantee scheme that's happening this year. Uh, we can also see down here, I've asked it in the prompt to give a reference to where it got the information from so that if you wanna look it up and just confirm the validity of the information, you can go ahead and do that. So this first home guarantee should be on budget paper number two on page 212. Let's just quickly check that. So let me open up budget paper number two. This is page 212. Here is information about the expansion of the home guarantee scheme. So there you go, that works. I can also ask it stuff like, who are the winners and losers in this year's budget? And I'm just gonna fast forward this so you don't have to sit here waiting for my text to fill out. All right, awesome. And now let's make it more useful. Let's say you are a financial influencer, write a LinkedIn post summarizing the winners and losers in the budget, including some 
details that may not have been obvious to a lay person. Going to be politically correct. All right, let's see what it gives us here. All right, there you go. So it's sort of giving us the same thing that you see from, you know, every financial influencer who's giving a take on the budget. It's generated for us. But the best thing about it is I can obviously now question it. So I can say something like, tell me more about the climate action in the budget. And I can, you know, ask follow-up questions to drill down into these more specific areas. So there you go. Um, that, that, that's how you can use this to drill down into more detail and get all these references about the topics that you're interested in without having to read through all these pages of dry text yourself. And obviously the concept that I've applied to this chat GPT budget could be applied to any set of data, any sort of set of reference data where there's heaps of data that you don't want to read through and you want to make it available via a chat interface, we could do exactly the same thing. And um, you can tell that I, I'm, I'm releasing this. I, I basically had this done the day after the budget was released, which tells you how quick and easy it is to do. So it basically only took me the better part of, of uh, one evening after work to put this thing together. And final reminder, you can access this for free right now on chatgbtbudget.com. Um, the only thing you need to be aware of is it will be using your open AI key. So you'll need to pay for the requests, but they are going to be sort of a, a fraction of a cent. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. And if you are also worried about the security of, of plugging your key into this app, I would encourage you to just go ahead and delete the key once you finish using it. And then there's absolutely no risk of that secret being leaked and, and being used by someone else. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and so on. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.